What's up guys, welcome back for the final D-Metal Guide in the Trunks Warrior of Hope DLC. Today, I'll cover the Great West Desert area that you unlock after rolling the credits on the main story arc. This guide will show you the locations of all 25 D-Metals in the order that I found them, and if you find this guide helpful, help me out by hitting that subscribe button. The first eight are located right here in Nam's Village. I'm not going to waste a lot of time on these, so here they are in rapid fire montage. Number one is at the south end of the village. Number two is by the house on the upper ledge of the west side of the village. Number three is in the village pond. Number four is at the end of the strip of land sticking out into the village pond. Number five is at the house with the two liquid storage containers. Number six is by the western village farm tucked away behind some boxes and a shed. Number seven is by this house overlooking the village pond, and number eight is by the two metal liquid storage containers near the farmlands at the north end of town. Number nine is the first D metal you can find outside of Nam's village. It's located at the mineral deposit locked behind a level 50 Kachin. Head over to the other mineral deposit in the northwest to find a level 52 Kachin. Behind this, you can find both D metals number 10 and 11. Next, fly your way to this mineral deposit. Here, you'll see an NPC talking about red crystals near some broken down brick walls. This is where you can find D metals number 12, 13, and 14. D metal number 15 is located inside a destroyed dome home near the northeastern training spot. Not too far away, you can find a fishing spot with D metal number 16 on a ledge overlooking the fishing hole. If you're not paying attention, it's easy to miss the underwater cave here. Inside that cave, you can find D metal number 17. To find number 18, 19, and 20, head all the way south to the mineral deposit marker on your map. See that level 55 Kachin there? Well, D metals number 21, 22, and 23 are all inside there. Just south of the training spot near the dino marker on your map, you can find another destroyed home with D metal number 24 inside. Finally, D metal number 25 is just below, surrounded by some old vehicles. And that's it, guys. With the news that DBZ Kakarot coming to Switch this September, I may go back and replay the main game to do some more D-Metal guides for all the original areas, but that's probably going to be a while. It's also just been brought to my attention that there are D-Metals in the Land of the Kais as well, but there's no indicator on just how many in this DLC, as you can't access the world map while you're there. In the main game, there are 20 D-Metals in that area, so it's likely to be the same here, so maybe I'll do a guide for this area as well. And until next time, stay safe, stay blessed, and stay tuned to Ice TV. Ah! Nee! Ah!